This is why you don't fit in. They have a saying, it's lonely at the top. That's actually correct, but it's really lonely at the top when it comes to our conscious awareness or spiritual level. So are you, does this apply to you? Do you feel weird? Do people seem to class you out? Do you seem to have to dummy down your conversation or the way you think around other individuals? Do you, you don't have much friends? Your life seems lonely? Does it seem like you're the only one on this path and everyone around you is looking like they're normal and you may look like you're abnormal? Do you have feelings? Are these energies you keep picking up from people? Do you like to be alone most of the time? You, when you go into crowds of people, you tend to get a little bit of anxiety. You tend to feel stressed. So do you, you feel like, hey, is something wrong with me? Well, I'm here to shed some light for you. I have good news for you. You are actually what's known as a chosen one. You, my friend, are a spiritual, multidimensional being. Light worker, star seed, awaken, however the term you want to use it, but you are that. So what's going on here? Well, what's happening here, you were sent here from another dimension, God, the universe, some individuals say another planet, another world, and when you got here, you remembered who you are, and now you're becoming awakened. That's the beauty of this. You are now on an, an awakened soul. So when others are looking at you, and you feel lonely, the loneliness you feel is the inner search or the butterfly effect where, you blo where you're being blossomed and bloomed to become the true version of who you are. Now this can get pretty lonely or you may feel left out, but all that is just an illusion. That's, that's being projected by the ego mind. See, the ego mind will take conceptual reality and make it personal. It takes pride, it takes feeling to be with someone, it takes all these things and puts you in a limit and says you're not good enough. So that's what you're basically feeling. So again, that's an illusion. So when, I, when other individuals, they look at you and they say, you know, they think you're weird. No. You want to know the truth? It's actually the opposite. Here's just how it works. There's two fundamental forces going on here. Actually, there's three forces. You have a physical force, which your body and the mind interacts with through the intellect, mind, or the ego. Then you have a spiritual force, which is the energies of uh, frequencies, vibration, different beings, uh, intuition. And then you have another force, which is known as the etheric. The etheric is the background, we call radiation or the background frequency of who you are. It's like the shadow version of the frequencies of who you are. So the etheric is pretty powerful because the etheric basically is a copy of the spiritual but in a more raw, dynamic and fluent energetic form. So a lot of individuals that are here, they don't have souls. I want you to think about that. Yes, there are many people walking around this earth that literally don't have a soul. Now what do I mean by don't have a soul? Here's the term. Their consciousness is turned off. They're butts, robots. That's what I call they don't have a soul. So when these individuals are around, those are the ones, these are the individuals that you really, through your day-to-day -day life, get in contact with. That's why they can't understand you. That's why they, 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 they shun you or they look at you as different because they're turned off. They're plugged out. They're not, their consciousness is not on. They're butts. So what is a butt? A butt is an individual that can easily be programmed by the system. The government, society, the media, everything. They're all butts. They've been programmed. So you are indeed the chosen one. So you came here to do something. Your mission now is being revealed to you. So this is where you're going in. You're going into that, what I call that cure stage where you're becoming metaphor, metaphor, you're metaphor forming yourself now. You're becoming that true person you were meant to be. Yes, that's why you may feel lonely, you may have to dummy down your conversation, because you're reaching, you're getting information from these two different realms. You're getting information from the spiritual and the etheric realm. So when you talk to people, it could be your family members, your friends, everyone, they can't understand what you're saying. It's like you're speaking a foreign language. That what makes, that's what makes you feel so lonely because you think, I don't have anyone to communicate with. I don't have anyone to understand. 
But yes, you do. You have millions, even billions on the planet of other like-minded individuals like you. All you have to do is keep doing the work, focusing on yourself, and you're going to attract all the right ones to come around. But remember how it works now, right? The dead weight will have to fall in order for you to elevate. So that means you're going to lose a lot of friends, maybe even relationships, maybe even family members along the way. Because the universe and your purpose that God, the universe, sent you has to be fulfilled. So they'll have to be removed. But your ego is the part of the mind that will hold on with grudgment or disheartening or regret. But you have to understand that you have to let that go. Because if you want to reach your full potential and if you want to achieve what's really there for you or meant for you, you have to let that go. So that's why you hold on and you feel so attached to people, individuals, places, because it's the ego mind. So once you learn and say, oh, if I let this go, something better will come along. Yes, you are going to attract and resonate like-minded light workers like yourself. Now, what's the purpose? So why are you the chosen one? What makes you different than everybody else? Well, the re what makes you really different is you have something you know how to fix reality. Anybody that comes in your life, you know exactly how to help them, what they need. Even your, yourself started. You are, have the power to deliberately create your reality or what's called the matrix. That's a very powerful information and knowledge. Money can't buy that. That means you literally know how to manipulate what we call physical reality and bring it into whatever you want. That's why you're becoming awakened. That's why you're the chosen one. Because your state of mind now, you're gaining knowledge from a higher realm. And robots, or these soulless individuals are called bots, they can't understand that because their consciousness is turned off. Now maybe in time they'll be awakened too and their consciousness will turn on. But right now, there are more empty souls than awakened individuals. So that's why this is a time for you to pursue your passion and your dream. So no more feeling lonely, no more feeling anxiety. It's, it's a part of the process. Now you know your power. Now you know how powerful you truly are. Now you know how the people work and how the system works. Now you can take your control and work on yourself. Because what you're understanding, and here's the most powerful information that uh, they will ever share with you. And here it is. You are indeed the true source of your reality. Each individual inhabits his or her own bubble reality or universe. That's right. Everything that you see around you right now, you're in control of it. You literally can split the universe to create whatever movie you want to call it or lifestyle you want to create. They can't tell you that, but you know that now. The empty souls are what I call the robots. They can't know that. That's why they're easily programmed. They are turned off. So... When you feel you have to dummy down your conversation around people or you can't really say what you think around people, they look at you weird, now you know the truth. It's not you. You're perfectly fine. You're chosen. You're here. You're gaining knowledge from another source that the mind can't comprehend right now. So don't judge those individuals. Just be compassionate for them. Understand that they haven't begun yet. Understand that they aren't tuned in. So this is not a time for you to judge them and say, oh, you can't, you're not good. You're not. Just be compassionate and know, that they're, know their story that, okay, they don't understand. That will help you elevate even more. So now you know why you don't fit in. So what can you do to help yourself even more? Well, with this knowledge and information, because you're gaining information or intelligence from a different higher source, from the superconscious mind, you can now change reality by expressing love, uh, abundance, by helping others, being of service to others. You start to do this, the reality changes and the vibration of the planet raises. The earth has a vibrational force, a magnetic field. And you raise that consciousness and then you bring it in. That's, that's why you're here. So you can start, you start with yourself and then you help others. Always remember this, you cannot help people if you don't help yourself first. Your cup has to be literally overflowing so it can trickle down and help others. Not even full. Your cup can't even be full to help people because then you're, you're spilling. 
Your cup has to be overflowed. That means you have to be so connected and so tuned in that you have so much knowledge and information that is just being spilled all over and there's excess for everyone. That's when you can help people. So the first thing, do the work. Focus on yourself. When, when the universe is doing something, when people or relationships seem to not work or they're breaking apart, don't fight. Don't try to hold on to it. It's the dead weight being released. You just can't see it right now because you're tied into a physical conceptual reality through the intellect or the ego mind. So there you have it. These key components will bring you your true desire. You'll meet the right partner, the right perfect person for you. You'll meet the same person on the same vibrational level. And you'll say to yourself, wow, why, would I, why was I even holding on to that old relationship? Why was I even holding on to that old job or that position or that person? Because now you have something better that came in for you. And you have to understand that your mind can't see that because it's an intellect mind, it's a judgmental mind, and it's connected to the imperfect uh, feel or resonance of the matrix, what we call it, this false prism of reality. Now you know, use this and continue to spread love and awareness.